Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Louis and as you can maybe see, we are now in Wengen. This is one of the cutest mountain villages in the Alps. This is a car-free village and this is at the footsteps of the Jungfraujoch, which is actually great if you want to go there. But not only, we have the Berner Oberland Pass and we're going to go all around the region and let you know what there is to do. We've never stayed in Wengen and so very excited to stay here. We had the Maya Capris Hotel and this is already beautiful beautiful the view so let's just get into it and explore the region so when you arrive from Interlaken to Lauterbrunnen then you change tracks and we're going to take now the Wengenbahn that takes only like 13 minutes to Wengen all the way up there it's every o'clock and 30. so you're going to know this train pretty well if you are going to Wengen because this is the only way out from Wengen uh, to go back to Lauterbrunnen or to anywhere or you could take the Menlichen band but uh, you will know this train and the schedules every 30 minutes pretty well. Let's go! Just arriving in Wengen, you have a supermarket just uh, here in case you want to do some shopping. It's even open on Sundays until 6.30. And we are actually at that hotel over there. But yeah, we're just there at the Maya Caprice Boutique Hotel. This was for sure the closest uh, hotel that we could find. So this is nice, but there was also a spa and a hot tub that you'll probably see. And so that was Alexis's uh, little choice and also on my side I really loved that it had a view on the valley of Lauterbrunn so the perfect uh, hotel in Wengen it's so nice out look at this view so this is the main street of Wengen you have different hotels. We are on the other side, just next to the train station, but this is the main street. You see the main lesion, actually uh, the gondola here, and uh, quite, a nice, uh, uh, quite a few nice chalets uh, around, so we can take you around Wengen and see what there is. I'm going to show you my favorite place of Wengen in a little bit, the best view maybe in the, in the entire region, top three in the entire region. So that best view that I was talking about, this is from the church, the reformed church. You have to go there past the cinema, I think, and then you have the church and you'll have an amazing view on the valley. I love it. Here is the church and from the church, you'll see the view. Don't see the view now. Wait, uh... To be taking that ride for the Menglichen. They have up there a little crown also at the very top. You hike for 15-20 minutes and then you get to the crown. So from here you have the gondola there that is the Menlichen gondola that goes to Grindelwald so if you want to go just uh, to Grindelwald you go this way and this is a great way with the regional pass to get to Grindelwald and otherwise to the left when you arrive here you're going to have a little hike uh, they say 20 minutes I think it's not even 20 minutes and here you go to get to that Point over there. So this is our hike. There's silence. There's the cowbells, if you can hear them. And this is the, oh, they call it the walk, which fair enough, I think. <laughs> and you have a crown there from where you'll see everything in the region. So guys, from the Menlichen, not to confuse, and I get confused sometimes, sorry. The Jungfrau is the one to the right. This beautiful lady there, 4,158 meters. And then the Eiger and the Monch are here and here. The Monch to the right and then the Eiger 
beautiful view on the Eiger from Grindelwald and Miron. All right, that was quite a beautiful view. I really recommend it, but this is just such a beautiful site. It's also cheaper, it's included in the regional pass and it's just amazing. So from the main mission to Wengen, it leaves every 20 minutes, every 50, 10 and 30. Enjoying some good Swiss breads. I actually love trying the browner ones. We were doing a uh, cheese and dessert and it was really a delicious meal there. Sort of the a step above, a level above and, and trying to be pretty uh, get gastronomic and uh, I really enjoyed it and we're going to be here three nights so I'm going to enjoy these uh, meals here at the Maya Caprice but uh, yeah, let's uh, dive into our dessert and cheese. Nice to wake up with the sound of the birds. Nice little sunrise. And that's you. So here is the train that goes from Wengen to Lauterbrunnen. Uh, if you need to remember two numbers, it's 13 and 43. Because it's at uh, these times that it uh, departs from Wengen to Lauterbrunnen. And from Lauterbrunnen to Wengen, it's at 00, 00 and 30. So that's uh, you'll get to know these numbers when you are in uh, Bengen because these are the, the trains that you'll take. Look at the view. There is so much to do in Lauterbrunnen itself that we can't cover it all in this video. So we have an entire video dedicated to Lauterbrunnen, which we will link here. So if you want to know what we recommend you do in Lauterbrunnen once you've taken the train down from Bengen, definitely check that out. So after about 40 minutes uh, walking on that path, you are arriving at the Trümmelbach Fälle. You can also take the bus that you can see there, but it's actually pretty nice to do this uh, this hike. Postal bus, I think, comes every 30 minutes and you have this view the whole time of the valley on both sides. It's just incredible. So yeah, now we are getting to the Trümmelbach Fälle, uh, which are these inside waterfalls. going to show you what it looks like around and inside you have 11 waterfalls so we are going to continue walking but if you want to take a bus it comes every 12 and 42 and the bus stop is here but if you get to Lauterbrunnen you can get here by bus and then we're going there so we took the gondola up from Stichelberg and usually we just cross and take the gondola to Muren but we're going to discover Gimmelwald. So we are actually in Gimmelwald here and going to see for like maybe half an hour how this uh, little village looks. There is apparently a pension with um, a nice beer that you can have. Here you go, the mountain hostel. Yeah, let's just walk around. So it's, it feels very authentic, this little village, which is nice. Sometimes uh, you have some villages that are catered to tourists. This is just like your perfect mountain village with cows and other animals and some nice mountains in the backdrop. You have some self-service over there and uh, you can just go for it. So, this is the FI's francs, 5.95. I have six francs. There you go. Keep the change, and I'm going to get this. But yeah, really nice actually. And how trustworthy are the Swiss to leave the change and uh, and do this? So yeah, here we are. My my little meet here, and a very cute place. So this is the famous pension Gimmelwald. They have some cool beers in here, and uh, you can also sleep here. They also have what they say started that cell service shops and this is a very nice message that they are conveying about honesty and trust. So after our short stop in Gimmelwald, we're going to take the gondola up to Muren. You can also actually walk for half an hour, but uh, with a shower, it's always a little bit more complicated. So 
the gondola all the way up to Mirren is actually included in the Berner Oberland Pass, which is a great value. Once you're up here, it is like Vangen in that it is a beautiful car-free village, but you have a slightly different view of the mountains. It's also the footsteps to access the Schilthorn. This is not included in any of the travel passes, but the Berner Oberland Pass and the Swiss Travel Pass give you 50%. It's another really great mountain, and if you're a James Bond fan, you can see the museum and exhibit there as well. So the gondola actually takes you to the other side of Mirren, so to go back to Lauterbrunnen, we're going to take the Grutschop train down, which is at the other end of the village. It's about a 10 15 minute walk, and then that actually leads you right across the street from the Lauterbrunnen train station, so it's super easy to get back. All right, headed to the spa. Very excited to see the view, the jacuzzi that is outside. This is kind of why we chose this hotel to have that view close to the train station and with the jacuzzi. So that's a perfect combination, and we're going to enjoy it. All right, I think uh, in our top uh, three of the spas with a view, this is definitely it. Look at this. The view is, is pretty nice, I would say. And this, is, uh, this is not even fair, but having a jacuzzi outside like this, ah. Oh. And here is our train that will go to Kleinscheidegg. From Kleinscheidegg you have, of course, an incredible view on all the mountains around and you can take trains to Lauterbrunnen, to Grindelwald as well and of course you have the trains that go to the Jungfraujahr. You can actually see this over there. So this is really a pretty cool station that is linking a lot of different trains. And if you are going to the top of Europe, which I would recommend if you are in Wengen, this is really a super location to do it pretty easily. You take the train to Kleinscheidegg and then you take the train all the way up and it will take you there. But for now, I'm just going to walk to the Eiger Gletscher, a little morning hike. And so the hike with a view on a few glaciers starts here. And we can see the Eiger Gletscher station. You can get there from Grindelwald with the Eiger Express or also with the train here, the train track. Or you can walk. <laughs> and hopefully at some point I'll see the lake. So for example, I love the mat for its different lakes and the reflection of the Matterhorn in the lake. And I found actually a pretty nice lake here with reflections of the Eiger and the uh, Jungfrau. So it's actually a nice, a nice color and something new to discover in the region. And then you have maybe 20 more minutes to go to go up to Eiger Gletscher. Yeah, so now from the lake, let's continue to Eiger Gletscher. It's actually really cool to see all these glaciers here. Yeah, you have a beautiful view and also we see that it's slightly better on the Lauterbrunnen side today than the Grindelwald side in terms of clouds. But look at these glaciers. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. This was a great video to film because this was so beautiful. We were in a beautiful hotel with so nice staff and actually delicious food and also a nice uh, spa that uh, Alexis enjoyed. This was such a nice place, Wengen. Uh, it really grew on, uh, on me. The village itself was beautiful and also just the location was really nice and not too complicated to get to from Lauterbrunnen with the train. So really recommend Wengen and we'll be back. But uh, for now, thank you and see you in the next video. Bye guys. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.